this is crazy. Like, I feel like I would forget that I have to hold down on the brakes like, like going to the scenario and, like, get overwhelmed. Like, 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 to see Inside Out 2. It's been chill as Saturday. Very much needed chill Saturday. I feel like I've just been running crazy these weeks of just life and it's nice to have a slow Saturday. It was also a rainy day and I feel like that always makes the weekend more cozy. <laughs> oh, these pants are so comfy. And the sweatshirt. Everybody looks chill. Maddie, I love, I love your outfit. That's a vibe. We be vibing, man. I feel like it makes the movie not as enjoyable if you're not the ultimate comfortable. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you ready? Do you think you're gonna like this one as much as the first one or more? I think this one. Think it'll be better than the first one? Why are people driving so psychotic today? In the Midwest, you know about Quick Trip. I feel like Quick Trip is only in the Midwest. Maybe South? I don't know. If you have a Quick Trip in your city, leave it in the comments. Let me know in what city you live in. I'm actually very curious to know if Quick Trip is a thing other places. This is the one. Ooh, what's coming out next? I feel like they just came out with one of those Kingdom of the Planet, didn't they? If, oh, we still need to see that. The Garfield movie. I feel like they just did that too. They just keep remaking the same movie. They have unicorn. Gummies. But I didn't really did not know. G13 or G14 through. G14. Yeah. 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 One. I liked it. What did you think? It was good. Do you think it was as good as the first one or nah? Um, Not to give anything away. I don't think it'll hit as hard. Suppressed. The first one, the first one was just. Too Could you relate though? Because it's all about like your age group, kind of, or not? Really? Yes. I feel like it's a pretty universal experience. Oh well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. But it's not even that hot outside. So cute. Why are you adorable? Maddox, not him parenting better than me. <laughs> Hi, are we going in? Hi, there they are. Oh, I hope I don't get pooped on. You think we're gonna get pooped on? Oh, they're singing each other? Yeah, they're singing. Aww, they're having a moment. Hi, Hi little friends. Wait, are they making? I almost landed on you. <laughs> Can you please control your behavior, please? I'll edit this out. I won't leave it. No, keep it. You want me to keep it in? Okay, so it's okay for them to know you were not being the best right now, but you're going to change your behavior? And you are okay with me leaving this in the vlog, or you want me to edit it out? Edit it out or leave it in? Leave it. Okay, high five to better behavior. Thank you. Can you eat eels? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yummy. That's your new mom? Look, he likes you. He's looking right at you, into your eyes. Is that better? Yes, you can actually cook seals. These. Right, hunters. That's, that's what Maddox showed me. Whoa, whoa. Oh. What's up, bro? Oh, look, another one. What you want? Oh my gosh, this is actually really creeping me out. I love it. Bro, I've made a bunch of friends. They really like you, Kai. You like are the, the eel whisperer. Animal. Why are they all coming to you? Oh my god, it's moving. Oh, gross. Remember you use two fingers? You gonna try? You gonna touch one? I touched it. I always get a little nervous too. You gonna try? Don't touch his tail. Okay. This is such a vibe. Not at all crowded. You guys wanna do the carousel or is that just me? 
Instagram of the Poodle. I'm gonna do a quick short and then we'll be on our way. I'm gonna hold it, just so we don't drop it. <laughs> it's the animal I'm on. I'm so glad this? we did it. We make it just in time. We did. This is the last thing before we leave. So, the summer is literally almost over. I can't believe it. Something that was on my summer bucket list, I don't even know if it was on the kids, is going to a drive-in movie. I wanted to go for summers and summers and summers and I would always be like, oh, we'll go, and then I would just forget about it. But tonight is the night we are going to a drive-in movie. I don't know why I'm nervous about it. I think I just built it up in my head so much that I'm like, it has to be perfect. So now I'm like, oh my God. But I think it'll be fine. I just need to put the seats down in the car and get blankets and like, hopefully, I don't know. I just always think of the worst case scenario. We can all work on this together. If this is something you struggle with, dial in right now. If you struggle with when you think of doing something, you always think of the worst thing that can happen. Not the best, not that it could just go well. You're always like, oh, but what if blah, 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 blah happens? We're working on not creating a story. We are not going to create a story and cause ourselves stress when we don't even need to. We are going to assume that everything is just going to go the way it needs to go. And if it doesn't go well, we will in that moment be okay and we will work through it. But we're not going to preemptively, continuously plan for the worst because it actually ruins life. And it's not fun to be that way. Seats down. So I laid it all the way back down. Oh we can God. move, we can move all the blankets, we can move the pillows, we can make plenty of space. Oh my God, this is so, such a vibe. So the drive-in movie was such a vibe. Maddox really wanted to go see this train, so we decided to run over and explore a little bit before the movie started. But you guys, I can't believe we've never been to one until this summer. I will definitely be going back. 10 out of 10 would recommend. This is crazy, because you're actually not far away from driving. Terrifying because everybody else is crazy like psychotic I don't want not too to. scary <laughs> i was just like i don't want to drive no it's I just, fine we'll okay just fine. no not even that it's just like i don't know all the controls i feel like they stress me out like i feel like okay. i would forget that i have to hold down on the brakes like, so i don't overwhelmed. continuously go and like get overwhelmed and like forget be like, what i was ah! supposed to hold and like we can practice a lot we'll practice a lot we'll practice a lot we have to worry about that now we have like three years so it'll be fine <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that sounds kind of fun. The thought, of, the thought of you driving me around. Don't know about that. Although I'm the worst. I'm driver, so excited so. to drive myself around. Woo! And you drive the boys. Mm. See, that's the incentive for the oldest to get the car because then they can drive the younger siblings around. Then I hope it's a good car. Actually, I'm. I don't know. What I'm saying I literally don't care. I've never understood people who care what kind of car they have. Like as long as it's a car. As long as it works. That's how I was I growing up. I was like, I don't care if it's old car. I also like vintage cars, but I was like, I don't even care if it's old. I don't care if it's the quote unquote crappiest car ever, as long as it works. I don't, they all look the same to That's me. a good attitude to have, girl, because you probably won't be getting the nicest car, but you'll get something. I don't, I, they all look the same to me. They all just look like cars. That's our car right there. You see that? Oh, well, that is our car. They're so Oh, it's okay. Oh, two babies. Baby. Oh my God. How do we have kids? Oh my God. You can keep that one. I can already tell. You can uh, have that one. I want the little no, one. No, no. Uh -huh. You can have that one. Baby. <laughs> Look at this one. Ooh, you guys. Okay. So we were driving. I guess we have to give the story. We were driving and we see these kittens. You saw the kittens. Yeah. And you just were like, let's stop. And they don't have a home. They're just they're just little abandoned. And they uh -huh. were together, so we didn't want to separate them. Oh, baby, this one's so scared. I feel so bad. It's okay. Look at the babies. Oh, my cuteness. You guys, they were literally just running around in this neighborhood. We asked the neighbor. We asked the guy. We were like, do you know whose cats? He was like, no, they've just been following me. They're strays. So he confirmed they were nobodies. We weren't like taking someone's cats. He was like, they're just strays. And he encouraged us to take them. And we are going to nurse them back to life and get them checked out and all the things. But oh my cuteness. Okay, so if you're following me on Instagram, you've already seen the updates of the kitties and their names. If you're not following me, head over there 
Britnell on Instagram to see, but they're doing so well, you guys. We treated them for fleas, we've gotten them food, and they're actually doing so well. This video was from a few weeks ago, but anyway, I'll keep you guys updated. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you on the next vlog. Bye.